What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Get Reeling. Uh, this is my first video uh, outing as far as a uh, fishing YouTuber. Um, so I'm sure there's going to be some funny moments, um, some learning experiences, and, uh, you know, learning the process of, of filming, recording, and uh, what to do, what not to do. So, you know, I welcome you to come on this journey with me and uh, figuring out how to do this whole thing. So, hopefully you enjoy the footage and uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, you always got to make sure to check your soft plastics after dealing with the bluefish. Nine times out of ten, that uh, that soft plastic you got is going to be trash. You either got to replace it or, you know, get a new one. Alright, what I'm doing here is, 
I'm trying to let my uh, bucktail, you know, after I cast it out, I'm letting it sink, and I'm trying to keep it, you know, in that strike zone. Uh, just working the lure, making sure that I'm not hitting bottom, but also not, you know, cranking too fast to where I'm too high in the water. Yeah, so after catching that blue fish, uh, nothing really happened, uh, so I'm going to pack it up a little bit and head a little bit farther out to the tip on the jetty. Yeah, switching spots, moving a little bit farther down, uh, paid off. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that the GoPro was off, you know, when I hooked the fish, but uh, at least I got the, the fish in the picture. You're also going to notice that I switched uh, the bucktail up. You know, here I'm using a uh, two ounce, I think it's called Spuro. Um, and instead of having a paddle tail on it, I got a, uh, you know, like a, an eel tail. Some people also call them jig strips. notice as I'm working the, the lure, you know, I'm popping my rod up and down, um, you know, giving it some action, giving it some play, trying to, trying to create some attraction in the water for the fish to bite onto, while also staying off the bottom. Yeah. No dice, so I'm going to switch lures up to a swimmer and see what happens. Yeah, I think what went wrong there was in the midst of fighting the fish, uh, instead of holding, you know, that tension on the line, um, you know, I, I kind of switched the, the placement of the rod, and I think I gave it a little bit too much slack that allowed the hook to pop out just a little bit so that when it shook, uh, trying to get it up in, it, it, you know, it, it threw the hook. And the lure I'm using is a bomber long short. Um, it's got a lip on it, kind of like an SP minnow. Um, and the way you work this lure is after you cast, you point your rod tip down and you slowly crank or twitch uh, to create that swimming action. Yeah, no, it's amazing. Complete newbie move. Again, didn't get the hook up uh, on the GoPro. Still trying to figure out, you know, on and off, you know, how long the batteries last. Yeah, it's a learning process. And at this point, I'm, I'm super stoked. Uh, I've only caught three weak fish in my entire life, uh, this now being the fourth. Um, most of the weak fish I catch are usually 14, 15, maybe 16. Um, super stoked about this because this one happened to be, you know, 26 inches. Uh, and what a beautiful fish. Hey, you mind doing me a favor? 
Can you take a picture of me? Yeah, and big shout out to Derek. Met this guy out on the jetty. Super nice guy. Uh, he he was clutching getting the photo there, of the fish. Hold it. So thanks again, Derek. Fucking. I took two of each just yeah. to make sure. Thanks, buddy. No problem. Congratulations again. You'll probably get into them. Oh, I hope so. I mean, I'm using minnows. I'm trying for flounder. I'm not. Dude, I right caught now. a 23 on that. All it is is a lead head with a paddle tail. And you can catch striped bass, blues, flounder, everything. Oh, yeah, the blues was tearing my bolts up early. They were just ripping them apart. Yeah. And by the looks of his teeth, he'll do the same thing. I don't know how to freaking... I didn't bring anything to... Um, I'll figure it out. Congratulations again. That's yeah. Beautiful fish. It's rainbow color. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm fumbling with this fish. Um, I had my hand inside its gills, and little did I know that they actually have little teeth inside of there. Um, so that was catching my finger as it was uh, wiggling around. And I'm also uh, I'm fumbling around trying to figure out how am I get, how am I going to you know keep this fish um, from flopping off the rock and dropping it in the water. You know, I wouldn't be able to keep it and uh, you know harvest it for food. Um, so what I ended up doing was just using my fish grips, um, had it clamped down, and then I have a carabiner that's on it, and then just clipped it to my backpack and uh, and, and sat the backpack on top. Um, not not really sure how to use a stringer. Really haven't done that on the jetty. Um, not sure how I would keep the stringer um, from coming loose or falling in the water. Um, if you guys got any suggestions or comments, you know. Uh, on, on how to do this, uh, you know, please leave it in the comment section. Yeah, and uh, as you could tell, you know, the the lure that I'm using, I got a uh, one and a half ounce magic tail jig head. Um, with a Wonder Bread Kettle Creek soft plastic paddle tail. Uh, this honestly has been the best lure that I've used this season. Uh, most versatile, I can use it on the surf, I can use it on the jetty. Um, I've caught 25 inch, 31 inch bluefish. I've caught straight bass, um, flounder, 23 incher, and, and the weak fish. I'll have a link in the description of all the gear I used during this trip, so check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please like, subscribe, you know, leave any comments. And uh, hopefully you guys had a good Memorial Day weekend as well. Thanks for watching.